Hey guys, welcome to another session of Loadout. So today's Loadout is about the Mad Doll for the Elite version, so the hardest one. Um, this is the team I went with, and uh, my partner was uh, Ryuki or Doppels, but here for showcasing, I'm going to use Spark. Um, Hyo was my choice, and uh, there are one turn KO missions. You could technically, if you had Fina, Ace, or Queen, uh, two Hyo and two TT, uh, seven star you could one shot both phases basically the the way to do that would be uh, ideally um, I think it should be imperil with ace on the first turn uh, hmm. It might be enough imperil with ace on the first turn chain quad quad cast TT fire and uh, The dolls should all die um you want to be able to do all your elemental damage as well, so if you don't want to go for the one turn, you might have to go with uh, something like uh, Seabreeze Dark Fina's Rainbow Whip for Fina. Um, but yes, it should be like uh, using Rainbow Whip and then uh, uh, Tribeam Laser, Quad Cast, and you should be able to kill all the mini dolls on the first turn there. And uh, on the second phase, I think you'd go uh, Sacrifice Ace uh, for the Esper Bar. And uh, Fina just, I think Fina can just, uh, I'm not quite sure, I'm not quite sure actually. <laughs> I've never done the one turn KO missions, but it's possible though. I know Loves has done it before, so. Anyways, let's get into the actual gear. So for, for my breaker, one of the things you have to do is you want to absorb all the counters from the dolls. So every single doll has to be hit by either physical or magic attack, and uh, I would definitely recommend going physical. And what Lid can do is that she can hit AoE um, and also break at the same time. Um, each turn, anyone that does damage to the doll, that doll will counter directly to that unit. Now you can cover the counters, but you can't provoke the counters away. So if you don't have an evasion evasion breaker like Lid or an eva evasion unit to counter a physical attack, so they counter physical if you use physical attacks, but they counter magic if you use magic attacks, so really keep that in mind. It it can wreck your team if you don't do it properly. Um, so so yes, I opted for lid because you get the break and the hit, and I made her full full evade as you can see here. Um, I also had uh, all my units had LB fill per turn gear because I chose to do the long grindy route with uh, Hyo's dealing the damage. Now the dolls, the mini dolls in phase 1 have a 2000 defense and I think 100, 150 spirit or something like that, very low spirit. So they're really prone to magic attacks, but don't be tempted if you can't take them on. Uh, what I did was just kill them one by one. They have 10 million HP, which isn't a lot, so I think it's about the uh, average about 3-4 three, three, turns before my heroes can actually like kill each doll. And uh, as time went on, because Hyo's Servant of the Blade is AoE, um, each doll got easier to kill. Um, so I think I finished round one in uh, 19 turns. Uh, so as you can see, so I'm going to introduce the gear for uh, some newer players here. Wing Edges this is craftable, but there's a lot of uh, different ones you could replace with. Daggers that have 5% evasion. Gladiator's Shield for 5% evasion. Raven Beret for 5% evasion. Assassin's, Ved f uh, Assassin's Vest from Achidna Trial for 10% evasion. Two Ring of the Lucia for 50% evasion. True Spirit of Freedom is a free craftable if you were here for that event for 15% evasion. And Evade from Cyan for 10% evasion. Domineering Spirit, this was this came free if you pulled Dragon Lord as a 2 LB fill per turn. And Ignorance from Jack, 2 LB fill per turn. I wanted Lid's LB for the Phase 2. Um, uh, one thing to note is that the mini dolls do not drop LB crystals or Esper orbs. So if you want to do the Esper mission, either you have an, a summoner that can fill the Esper bar, or you have to use what I did with Ace Sacrifice himself for the Esper gauge. Type 0 units can all do that at 7 star. Or you fill the Esper gauge in Phase 2, but uh, it takes longer and it's more risky because uh, Phase 2 is much harder. Uh, Rain here is my uh, Provoke tank. I went with a hybrid build, as much defense and spirit as possible. Um, on their actual turns, they only do single target damage, and uh, it's physical and magic attacks, um, and some regular attacks. So ideally, you're looking at about maybe 60% to 70% physical attacks, so you might be tempted to go a full evasion tank or pump up your defense, and I would definitely recommend that, re recommend that. but the only thing is my rain was easier to uh, pump up uh, spirit 
because of his innate. Um, but this is the gear. Um, Crimson Saber really helped because a Crimson Saber on uh, Rain has a 30% innate, 30, 30 HP and MP passive and then i have a pretty good uh, enhancement here with the 32 percent so 62 percent total hp from this crimson saber which gave him really an, an edge over every other tank i had and uh rivery shield a uh, 20 percent and 20 percent spirit there as you can see and this is uh merc roms as stmr so i don't expect you guys to have uh most of this gear at least uh, most of the viewers i think and uh you want to have full ailment resistance on your provoke tank if you're provoking them they do status ailments i think they do par paralysis confusion and stone and petrify so rain doesn't have those innate so make sure you have it covered there uh ozetta armor for that split defense and spirit jake's pirate ring of course is exclusive with halloween coming up i would definitely recommend if he comes back recommend polling for jake uh he's really good this is such a good tmr lb fill per turn and lb fill rate which doesn't apply in this this instance 20 defense 20 spirit and 25 percent hp arsha's talisman um this is l's tmr 20 uh, percent hp defense and spirit there abilities protector of lapis this is really much for himself for his own um trust ability and of course he has lb fill per turn which is really good because i could use a complete awakening uh, for the way i wanted to play him patriotic recall for that defense and hp split heavy armor art still one of the best uh, rewards as we got from uh, Iron Colossus, HP and defense plus 30% when equipped with heavy armor, and a mechanical heart. This came from the near Automata uh, limited time um, uh, event. Um, HP and uh, HP 15 and Spirit 15, but it also chance of healing your HP every time you get a physical and magic attack. It helped a lot. Alleviate my healer. This is my Fina, as you can see, uh, I kind of did a split. Um, spirit and HP didn't really matter, because if you did it right, he, she wouldn't get hit. Um, but I went with some magic, thinking that I would be able to insert some turns with using Summer Whip. Now, I could have done this earlier, but I just didn't find the turns to do it. So the dolls, one thing is that they can be blinded, 50% chance to be blinded. And the amazing thing about Summer Whip is, uh, this is Sea Breeze Dark Fina's SDMR. The amazing thing about Summer Whip is that if you use the skill Rainbow Whip, which this can help complete all missions, it's a 9 times 8 hit magic attack skill that does all these elements. So it really helped with one of the missions. It can be dual wielded. So when you dual wield, it actually casts twice, so 16 hits. And also, this skill amazingly actually carries the status elements across. It's such an awesome STMR. I really, really love this. Um, you t ideally, if you had the turns, um, I would have used Rainbow Whip and just blinded some dolls. That can alleviate some of the physical damage your tank is absorbing as well. So just keep that in mind. They can be blinded. Keep that in mind. Uh, Nirvana here for auto limit. Really, I wanted the LB fill for Fina in case I needed to entrust the LB. But ended up I didn't need it. Royal Crown as well for the LB LB fill. This is fill gauge rate though, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but it was for the magic. Uh, Prodigy Goggles for LB fill per turn. And a rainbow robe, it's just whatever I had. Put it on there. Staff Mastery Hat Arts, Barrier Mage's Oath, 50%, 50% uh, total spirit there. Hat Arts was a magic spirit split. I wanted it for that rainbow whip. I thought I would do more magic damage. And Ignorance Fill LB Gauge per turn, 2 LB, like I said. Uh, these dolls are a hybrid, uh, hybrid race, uh, demon and spirit. And so you want to go with demon and spirit killers. Um, I went with lightning, it doesn't really matter, you can go with fire, you can go with lightning, you can go with holy, whatever whatever floats your boat. Uh, the only reason why I did it is because aces and peril does cover all three, so my idea was, you know, I had uh, a couple friends on Discord set up their heroes for me today, and, uh, you know, I was saying that it doesn't matter, just go with lightning or fire, I'll mix and match myself, and since it's aces and peril handles all of the elements anyways, uh, Precious Hairpin, Heroes Clothes, this is pretty standard stuff. Martial Glove, of course, everybody uh, should remember that this has LB fill per turn. So it really helped our heroes uh, for Phase 2. Large Sword Mastery Buster stuff for that 100% uh, TDH. And Demon Killer and Spirit Slayer for 50%, 50%. Now, I do have uh, Diablos with uh, Demon Killer Plus on, on my Diablos. So I have 175, if my math is correct. 175% demon killer with a 50% spirit spirit killer. Ace was pretty awesome. Um, 
if you guys watch my YouTube videos chronologically, you would have seen that Ace, uh, I fused his SDMR and Seabreeze Dark Phoenix SDMR pretty much just for this trial. Um, he does get a boost, uh, some passives with the throwing weapon equipped, but only at level 120, but it's just nice to have, it's pretty cool. Um, no special abilities on this, just a very high magic throwing weapon, and uh, Ace was pretty much just our MP battery for most of the time. Um, I did give him discernment just in case if, you know, I screwed something up. I had Phoenix on him so he could raise units. Um, so I didn't want him to have uh, any any possibility of being status ailment, uh, status, status affected. Um, I had him as high, high magic, and technically he should be able to do a lot of damage if he had tri-beam laser. Um, but again, like I said, you, you want to uh, keep your counters limited. So don't hit them with magic and physical at the same time. Unless you can one-shot those dolls. Unless you can one-shot those dolls. Uh, unmatch wizardry for a 50% uh, true or double hand magic. Corrupt emperor is emperor's STMR for 60% magic for that extra HP. And then acceptance is his own trust for the trust ability that he has. It, it amplifies his tri-beam laser uh, mod to a 6.5 times, I think. And I think that's it. Um, everything else looks pretty standard. My carbuncle has a single, a single target. Uh, st call it single target, but stat reflection. So um, carbuncle with stat reflection has like I think one of the most HP, defense, and spear combined. So uh, something you can you guys can consider if you're leveling up your espers. And then uh, Fina with uh, Shiva also with uh, stat reflection, which also has a really high high spirit and uh, magic. So it's perfect for her. Phoenix on Ace just in case, Demon Killers like I said, and Lakshmi on uh, on Lid just in case I needed some off turn heal. I was just thinking, you know, maybe the Evocation mission could be a heal, but we ended up not really needing it, so it doesn't really matter which what you use. And uh, I'll just showcase Spark here, even though he wasn't my partner going in. Um, but yeah, so just have a Demon Killer, Spirit Killer, and uh, Elemental Weapon for the Elemental Chain, and he should be fine. And how I ended off was. Uh, prepped uh, LB's uh, lids LB break uh, Hyo's LB ace tribeam laser and we overkilled the boss and that's pretty much it I think I covered everything. I'm gonna double check on the stream here if I missed anything uh, If anybody has an extra input probably for the light damage mission mm, Yeah, I think you have to deal uh, I forgot what the missions were exactly like fire Earth, wind, and light damage, or something like that. Anyways, it's four, four really weird um, elements, and if you if you can't cover it like all with like rainbow rainbow uh, whip there, um, just make sure like maybe someone like Lid has like Golem on for the Earth damage. If you have a stone as a magic skill in your Golem, uh, stuff like that, you'll work it out. You guys can work it out. You guys are smart, anyways. Anyways, I think that's it. Um, I'm going to end this video here. So uh, make sure you check out the trial video. It was, it was really fun. Um, and I th yeah, one, one turn KO missions, I'm pretty sure they'll pop up everywhere. Um, it should be doable. It should be doable with all missions. Um, anyways, let's end that there. So if you guys have Discord, check out the Discord server. Follow me on Twitter and subscribe to YouTube if you haven't. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.